for a large heat exchanger. This has uh, three sets of coils, and I have a technique for splicing them together. This is what I rolled the uh, coils on here, the large ones. And um, typically when someone's making a coil that has about 16 feet in it, they'll usually splice two four-footers together two times, and they'll do two rolls. Um, it's kind of hard to do one that's 16 feet long unless you have the setup for angle iron and things like that. But you can't do it. It's just it's just harder to do. So um, since I don't do these very often, I decided to roll four foot lengths, which is about this right here, and I needed about this much of glass. So um, the reason for this technique is to show you how to splice them together and keep them straight. Typically, uh, you'll have a mandrel the same size as the one I just showed you and it'll have a slot cut into it towards the end and you'll slide one set of coils over one side and one over the other and then you'll uh, put the splice right above the slot so you can stick your torch inside to do it. Well, I don't have the patience or the time to make one of these mandals just for this one job I'm doing. So what I came up with was this. Using angle iron, I take the first piece, I tape it in place and then you can you can take your torch, come in from the bottom here, and you can heat two of them up, top and bottom, come in like that, and then you stick it, and you can work it in by by sticking the torch in here and working the bottom side, working the top side. And what's nice is all the stress is relieved, and the coil comes down straight down this whole tube. You can keep on adding these pieces until you get to the end.